Maybe this has happened to you. You have some friends over and they ask for the Wi-Fi password, so you tell them, oh yeah, it's on the bottom of the router, or it's a custom password that you set, so you go and try to spell it out. But the password is so complicated that your friends get so angry they leave and you never speak to them again and they're not your friends anymore. Wait a minute, that hasn't happened to you guys? Well. Anyway, what if there was a better way, where you didn't have to even tell your friends what the password is, but they were still able to connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot or a guest network that you set up? Instead, you'd have a simple QR code that's stuck to the router, or maybe you just have it sitting on the table on a piece of paper. That way, they can just point their phone's camera at it, and it will automatically connect them to the Wi-Fi hotspot or the guest Wi-Fi hotspot with no other issues. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna show you how to do today, and making a QR code is actually extremely easy, and I'm also gonna show you how to set up a basic guest Wi-Fi hotspot, assuming your router does support that feature. So it's pretty easy, stick around. First of all, let's talk about how to create the QR code, which is very easy, like I said, there are plenty of free websites that will do this for you, and essentially, it encodes the name of the Wi-Fi hotspot and the password into the code, so then the phone automatically knows how to connect to it. You don't even have to tell your friends the Wi-Fi code if you don't want to. And to create one of these codes, literally all you have to do is go on Google and search Wi-Fi QR code generator, and you'll find all sorts of sites that'll do this for free. One of these is qifi.org. This one is dead simple. It just spits out a basic QR code, nothing fancy, no fancy graphics or anything. This one is good if you just want the basic code and maybe you can put it into MS Word or Photoshop and then create your own fancy graphics around it or something that says scan me, something like that. You can just go to this site. Another site I found that allows you to do a lot more customization for free is called qrcode-monkey.com. So then you go to the Wi-Fi tab and again, this is free and it has all sorts of cool features you can do like custom colors for the background, for the code itself, you can do a gradient of colors, you can have a custom color for the eyes, so-called, which are the little boxes in the corners. You can also change it so there's a logo or symbol in the middle of it, and they have a few preset ones that you can choose or just upload your own. So if you wanna go on Google Images and search Wi-Fi icon, you can just upload that yourself, whichever one you want. And they have a bunch of different designs for the code itself, so you can have it be either circles or squares, whatever you think looks the coolest, and also the frames around the so-called eyes in the corners, so you can customize it a lot. And what's nice about this site is it does let you download in a bunch of different formats, so you can change the quality and then download it in PNG, which is probably ideal because it's lossless, but you can even download the vector version, so it will be unlimited resizable. And then of course for all of these, if you do wanna add more, you can just do it yourself, and again, Photoshop, MS Word, whatever you're using. A third site I came across that you can use is called qr-code-generator.com, and this is probably the most polished looking of the sites, but it's not completely free. They do have a bunch of free designs though that you can use that do look decent. For example, this one has some cool frames you can choose that says scan me, which might look a little bit nicer, but of course you could do that yourself if you're fancy enough in Photoshop or MS Paint. And then you can also, again, change the design of the code itself to be like squares or circles or have it say scan me in the middle, kind of like the other logos. The only thing I kind of noticed about this site is it seems to be a little bit broken because it requires you to log in to do the download of the file, but even after I did create an account and log in, it didn't register as me being logged in, but instead of downloading, you can always just literally screenshot that little section using Windows features and then just copy it into Word or whatever yourself. So you can use any of these sites or even ones you find yourself and you can just print it out on a regular piece of paper and it doesn't matter what size it is, it'll work for any of them. And there's a few different cool ways you can use this code. So if you're just at home, you can just print out on a piece of paper, leave it on a table or maybe tape it to your router, something like that. Or maybe if you have a business with a Wi-Fi hotspot and you want guests to be able to use it, you can maybe print it on some business cards or something and hand them out. And you can do this whether it's a private Wi-Fi hotspot or a guest Wi-Fi network. Basically anything that has an SSID, the name of the network and the password, you can encode that into the Wi-Fi QR code. Now in terms of creating a guest Wi-Fi network, this is going to depend on your router. If you have one of the basic Wi-Fi routers that comes with your ISP, the one they provide to you. This probably is not gonna have a lot of advanced features like being able to create a guest Wi-Fi network. It might, you can go into the settings. However, if you buy your own router that is a little bit more high-end, there's probably a higher chance that this feature will be in those settings, even if you didn't necessarily enable it by default. So probably the best way to figure it out is to look at the actual model number of your router and then Google it and search enable guest Wi-Fi or something like that and see if it has that feature in the first place. 
place. Now, if it does have that feature, it's probably not gonna be enabled by default. You may have gone through a setup that asked you to enable it, but in any case, you're gonna have to go to the router settings and the usual IP address for the router is gonna be 192.168.1.1, but it might be a little bit different in some cases. So again, just Google the router model name and then default IP and it should come up. Usually when you go to the router settings page, it's gonna ask you to log in with a username and password. If you haven't changed this or you haven't set this up, then it'll probably be a default. It might just be admin as the username and password. But again, if you don't know, you can just Google the model name and default login or something like that. Then once you're in the router settings, obviously this is going to heavily depend on the model and brand of the router. So just kind of look around for Wi-Fi settings and then look to see if it does have a setting anywhere for guest Wi-Fi. I'm sure if it does have the feature, you can probably look for the support pages that describe how to enable this feature and just follow that. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, is sometimes a guest network on a consumer router will be set up differently where it'll appear as a public Wi-Fi hotspot. You connect to it and then it will bring up a login page. So it's not one of those usual kind where it's a private hotspot and you have to type in the password just to be able to connect. If it is one of those where you are able to connect without the password and then it asks you a password to log in afterwards, unfortunately, I don't really think there's a way to use the QR code with that because it's not gonna be able to tell the phone to go through all those steps and that's proprietary with the router. So basically the QR code thing is only gonna work if it is a private encrypted hotspot, whether it's guest or not, where you have to type in a password just to connect in the first place. So if it is one of those where it's a public Wi-Fi hotspot initially, then you might just be better off creating a QR code that connects to your regular one and just give guests that. And for most people, that's probably what you're gonna do anyway, just to keep it simple. If you don't really care if your guests are connected to your main network or whatever, you don't have to isolate them to a guest network, then you can just put them on your regular network, give them the regular password. And again, because it's a QR code, when they scan it, it's not even like they're gonna be able to see the password necessarily. So yeah, pretty much just a cool tip. If you didn't know how to do this before, you can go and impress your friends. Now, if you guys wanna keep watching, the next video I would recommend is one I made recently talking about some Windows features that you probably didn't know that you could disable. So I'll put that link right here. You can just click on that. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.